Hi, so my name is Noah, and today I'm going to be telling you all about the music video I made for Holland's Neverland. Don't worry if you can't understand the lyrics, neither can I, I don't speak Korean. The music video was aimed at the LGBTQ plus community as the song was written and sang by a gay idol, and the music video features two people from within the community. I strongly believe that there needs to be more representation in the media, especially in the K-pop industry. So, in the video you can see myself, and my best friend Ellie. We helped each other a lot for our final major project, another good friend of mine, Holly, also helped with some of the camera work, so thanks guys. At the start of the music video you can see us all alone, but we are still positioned in a way that it kind of looks like we're looking at each other. This is supposed to show that even though we're apart, we're still connected. The next shot juxtaposes the previous ones as it's darker and gives the complete opposite vibes as I am now dressed as the dark void where all my happiness disappeared to, and looking a little angry. While editing I did try to show a larger contrast in the color grading, but I was too scared to overdo it and kept it safe. This mirror shot, was bloody hard and took a while. The mirror was up on what was essentially a mini chalk clip and Ellie had to struggle to film the mirror and not slip and break her neck. The second problem we faced was trying to get me in shot, eventually we put our five collective brain cells together and realized that if I can see Ellie in the mirror, she can see me. The title of this project was, Sense of Belonging, which I interpreted as how some people just make me feel like I belong and that's what I wanted to convey in my music video but also how society puts up these barriers between certain people. I chose the song Neverland because the song is about how someone wants to avoid discrimination and escape to a place where they can love freely and feel accepted. For them, Neverland is the place where they belong, and not this judgmental society that we were so unfortunate to be forced into. The whole story is that I wished to be with Ellie but there was something in the way in preventing that from happening, for example, the fact that we're both actually gay, like really gay, and the only place where we could be together was in Neverland. The only problem is, we're gay, it's a fictional place and so this is all essentially my dream. The juxtaposing locations was supposed to highlight how much nicer it is there even though the more rundown and darker places are the reality. My target audience was the LGBTQ plus community and obviously K-pop fans, cough, korobu's cough, because it's a K-pop song, but I really believe that there needs to be more representation in the media, seeing just one person that you relate to in the media growing up, could make all the difference and it just spreads awareness and normalizes it. I'm quite proud of what I produced, although some of the transitions could have been better and at some points the quality isn't the best, but I really like the narrative and how I used costumes and locations to create what is essentially their Neverland. Also, with the costumes, I got the ideas from other Korean idols, who wear similar, but not the same outfits, so they all complement each other but don't clash. I even sneaked in a small reference to the original music video with the use of plaid. The location on the grass is the place that represents our Neverland as it's the place that we're the happiest but, in the end, we see that the whole time I was actually still by myself in the rundown plot. I just wanted to make something that was open for interpretation so everyone could take what they wanted from it and enjoy it how they wanted to.